Hey guys, Warbin here, and today I'm going to show you how to get better graphics in Star Wars Battlefront 2. This is a add-on or a mod, whatever you want to call it, and the first thing you want to do is download this file. The link is in the description and after you've clicked download and waited a few seconds it will um, appear here or something and then you'll just drag it onto your desktop I've got mine here so I don't actually have to install it over again now the next thing you'll do is you'll open this and then you'll go into the folder and I am going to open this readme text but you guys don't have to do that so the first thing we're gonna do is drop the add-on folder into our game data so we'll have to go to computer local disk and then program files 86 and if you have the Star Wars Spellfront 2 on a CD then you'll go into LucasArts and you'll go into the folder that is called Star Wars Spellfront 2 I only have the Star Wars Spellfront 1 on the CD so I'll just go in there and then you'll go into game data and after this you will grab the add-on folder and just drag it in here but I'm not gonna do that because I have my Battlefront 2 on Steam so if you have it on Steam you'll go a bit further down and then you'll go into Steam and then Steam Maps. If I'm going too fast for you here, just pause the video until you're ready and then you'll just continue then. And then you'll go into Common and <coughs> then you'll find Star Wars Battlefront 2. Go into Game Data and I have already dropped in the add-on folder but you'll drop the add-on folder in or if you already have a add-on folder and have installed mod be mods before then you'll just open this mod add-on folder and open your own and you'll just select these and drag them in and after that you will go into the uh, AAA patch thing here and then you will run the menu this one and when this starts you will press enter and then it says type in a menu item number I was not sure what number this was but just press one a few times and it will work because that's what worked for me but since I have done it already I will not do it again and uh, I am going to show a little video in the corner of the video where you also can see where I actually did it but uh, yeah I did open a few files that you do not actually have yourself if you don't have them then don't panic it should still work and then when you have let it complete you'll exit that program I just exited and go back to the Star Wars mod folder <coughs> and 
drop everything else into game data so then you'll go out here and you'll grab all of this wait there you go all of this and you'll drag it into game data you can also do it in here though like this as you can see I have many chat files here but don't worry if you don't have them it's completely fine I don't really know how I got them but it's just saved chat from in-game so that's not important at all and then it should look like this when you're done like this but I have those extra chat files so yeah it's okay if you have those chat files and it's probably okay if you don't have them because they do don't really affect the game I believe but uh, yeah this is how it's going to look in the end and then it's just to enjoy the game I will now show you some gameplay with the better graphics this mod does work with both single player and multiplayer in this game but also remember that you'll need WinRAR to actually extract the folder or whatever but I'll put WinRAR in the description too if you don't have it already and yeah I'll just go into a game here for you okay so I'm in a game here now and you can see there is better graphics and better quality on the characters and there is also um, there is also some maps that there is redefined scenery on that means it will have a better quality maps so that's pretty cool and in my opinion it looks like the vehicles also have gotten upgraded so yeah I'll just show you some gameplay here as you can see it works perfectly fine took each other out there yeah I feel that the grenades have a pretty smooth look on them when you throw them. That's pretty cool. You can see the red stripe behind them. So, uh, yeah. The uh, map that I have played that it looks like the graphics have been changed the most on is probably Endor I feel that that map has gotten some pretty good changes and I'll also show you all of the heroes in just a second here so you can see how much better they look now so yeah I'll show you that right now so here we are in the 
Heroes vs. Villains slash Hero Assault mod and you can see how much better they all look in my opinion I think that Obi-Wan Kenobi has gotten a lot better textures as you can see on him he looks pretty cool so yeah As you can see, it looks pretty cool. All the characters look very good. I'm just going to let this guy kill me if he wants to. No, apparently not. Oh, there you go. Just go in here and see how long we can survive in here. So we can respawn and show you, as you can see, Darth Vader has gotten some pretty good textures. Anakin Skywalker looks pretty good. Gant Dooku still looks the same, but... All the other ones are pretty good. Especially Anakin. They're really focused on Anakin and Obi-Wan. So uh, yeah, that's that. I will show you a little bit of the map Endor right now. So now I'm in the game uh, on the Endor map here. So you can see the different troopers on the Imperial team and Yeah. As you can see, the scenery does look a little bit better, in my opinion. But it's kind of hard to see when you don't have a side by side view. But, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching guys, please rate this video and leave a comment if you had any problems, maybe I can help you out. And uh, yeah, please subscribe, uh, I would really appreciate that and I'll see you guys later.